What's going on guys? Today we are going on a sports card collection hunt. I want to show you some of the pictures of the collection that I'm going to be going to pick up. Um, at first the listing had only a couple of pictures of loose cards. Uh, maybe this picture here of some cards in a box. But mostly loose cards. So I messaged the guy to give me a little bit more information on it. Uh, he wanted $200 for his collection. Uh, there was a Kobe. That was one of the cards I saw at first. Uh, Walter Payton, Manny Ramirez. Uh, but after looking at it, you know, I was curious. So I asked him to send me more pictures so I can get a better idea of what he had in there. Um, then was this LeBron here. There were some more Shaqs, um, Jordan. And then he, he sent me more pictures and then more pictures had this Kobe in it. He sent me this this morning. Uh, it's an army crate filled with cards uh, that's all part of it um, some cards that were from I guess inside there Whitey Ford Yogi Berra looks like a Hank Aaron up top uh, Kobe Jordan so uh, I'm excited to go pick it up uh, because it's definitely a big mystery to me I don't exactly know what's going to be in there uh, I'm going to double check make sure all everything that I see here is in there um, some Jordan cards there but um, yeah, I'm excited to go pick it up. I don't. I, this is all I know from these photos. So it's going to be two hundred dollars. It's about two hours away from where I live. So yeah, let's get on the road and uh, see what we can find. One thing to always remember when you're going to pick up collections is bring at least two bins of your own because you never know if the person wants to keep the boxes that they're in, um, or if the boxes are falling apart. This way you have something that you could throw them in. So that's just a little tip. All right, let's get on the road. All right, guys, we are on the road. And uh, I'm excited about this one. It's an interesting one. You know, after being sent the pictures and seeing that the, the most of the collection was stored in an army crate. Uh, and it's been stored in that crate for years untouched. It's uh, pretty exciting, you know, it's pretty interesting, you know, when you find collections uh, that are stored away in like these really unique spots. So, um, so yeah, so I'm very interested to find out what kind of collection is stored in an army crate after so many years. So uh, we'll be there soon and I will update you guys when we get back. All right, we are now here back at the house after a long day. Um, we did a lot of stops. We went to Ikea. We went to a bunch of places on the way there and on the way back. So it was an all-day trip for my family. But we have the collection right here. I was able to fit it all into one bin. Um, it was split up into several different little bins at the guy's house. Um, but I'm excited to, uh, to go through it and see what I find. All right, let's bring it in the house. All right, we are back inside the house here. I started to remove everything out of the bin. Uh, one thing I did notice when I was picking it up was this huge box. There must be, I don't know, like a hundred of these big, big tops, big baseball cards from uh, 1988. This thing is completely full. It just goes all the way, all the way down to the bottom. It's an insane amount. I don't know how much these go for each, uh, but these are cool little packs to open up. If you're into opening up some uh, some older cards, but uh, there's a ton in there. I might throw some of them up on the on the website as a lot. Uh, so if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff, just let me know in the comments, and um, I'll I'll list a nice big lot on the the website. But other than that, uh, here is a lot of stuff. Um, kind of just took the cards out, put them out. Uh, haven't really gone through them yet. Uh, when I noticed a star player, I kind of put it off to the side. As you can see, there's a Jordan pile there. There's a Shaq pile there. Um, these cards right here, these are Norman Rockwell. Um, these are some just playing cards, some more playing cards. Not sure what that is. 
Um, still have to figure out what these are. Vampirella. Vampirella uh, cards. I don't know if they're all Vampirella cards. Uh, don't know too much about these cards here. Uh, there's Batman. Metal Universe Batman right there on top. Looks like maybe some DC Marvel cards in there. Uh, once again, some of these cards I don't know too much about. There was this this uh, Avengers basket or little suitcase um, with some cards in here. Um, also, once again, some Marvel. There's Carnage right there on the top. But uh, still have to go through all of that, see what what I find. Um, these were cool. I found a lot of these uh, these flare showcase cards. These are really nice, and this is from a good year too. Uh, this one's from uh, '98, which is a good year. Um, got a huge stack here, another stack there. As you can see, found Mr. LeBron James in there. This one's a little beat up. Sports Illustrated for kids. Um, looks like maybe just the top corner might be a little bit uneven. But once I take it out of there, I'll be able to see a little better. Here's another LeBron. Uh, this one is a 2009 Upper Deck. We have a Kobe. Uh, over here it says Rookie Card, but I don't believe this is a Rookie now. What year is this? Yeah, 98. But there's a nice Sky um, NBA Hoops rookie. Um, sorry, NBA Hoops Kobe. Underneath there, we have... There's a nice Carmelo Anthony that uh, that marker is on the, the top loader. But a nice little Carmelo Anthony sticker, 2009. And then behind there is a Carmelo Anthony... Top Prospects Rookie. Very nice. Do not have that one. Don't have a lot of Carmelo Anthony cards. Uh, here's another stack of Marvel. Um, and then just a ton of cards. Like all the cards came in like these like metal bins. This right here. Some in there. Some in there. Some in there. Uh, so they were kind of all spread out. There was definitely no order to these cards whatsoever. But um... I'll start making some stacks and show you what I find. All right, let's start with the Jordans. Uh, right here off the top, it's an upper deck Jordan. It's got it in this one of these big cases here. Very cool. Don't have that Jordan card, so that is pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Here's a nice hologram McDonald's uh, upper deck. Jordan, very cool. Don't have this one either. I do not have this one either. Here's a greatest ever Jordan. Do not have this card. Always great to come across Jordan cards. I do not have this card either. It's a victory Jordan's greatest hits. I do have this card. Michael Jordan hang time. I have lots of these. NBA Hoops, Michael Jordan. It's a USA Basketball, Jordan. It's a triple-double, Jordan. Top Stadium Club. I do not have this one either. Greats of the game, Upper Deck, Michael Jordan. Nice, it is North Carolina uniform. Another one I don't have. It is a MJ's Decade of Dominance. Very nice. It has a $50 marker on it. I don't know if it's actually worth that, though. But very nice, Jordan. To add to the collection. There's 89 All-Stars. Here is a Fleer Jordan. Very nice. This is always a great one to find here. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Dennis Rodman. There's a Game Faces Jordan. Another Game Faces. And last but not least, an NBA All-Star, Michael Jordan. So there's a nice stack of Jordans. 
move those over slide these down and here's a nice little stack of shack there's an all-star shack there's a ton of these shack talk cards there's a shack talk there's another shack talk there's a rookie And I, the card underneath seems to be in pretty good condition. Uh, most of the wear is actually on the top loader. A lot of these Shaq Talk cards. Here's a nice one. Shaquille O'Neal, Rookie Year, USA Basketball. 94 Flair. Look at him there. <laughs> another shack talk here's a future forces shack a couple of them in without a top loader yet top prospects shack we got a shack with uh abdul rahim and here's another shack there's a nba all-star recruits and a try to stop him, Shaquille O'Neal. So there is a nice uh, stack of Jordans, stack of Shaqs. Now I'm going to go through these and I will show you what I find. All right, here we go. Here's a nice stack. Um, I haven't gone through all of it yet, but uh, this was a pretty big stack. So I figured I'd, you know, do this stack first. And then for another video, I'll do another stack because I'm not finished yet. But uh, But here we go. There's a nice all-rookie, Derek Jeter. Carl Yastrzemski. It's a cool card. Hopefully you guys can see it good. There's a Gambit Hollow. It's another Jeter, Dunruss. It's a Brett Favre. Found a couple more Shacks. There's a Shack Talk. There's a ton of these Shack Talk cards. Shack Talk. Another Shack Talk and another Shack Talk. And then under here are some notable players from that Flair Showcase. There's Stefan Marbury, Tim Hardaway, Reggie Miller, Reggie Miller again, Larry Johnson, LJ, Stefan Marbury. Then under there, we have Mr. Walter Payton. Now, these markers are on it are on the top loader. It's another Walter Payton. It's a nice Manny Ramirez, still with the, the peel on it. A couple more showcases, Rashid Wallace. Oh, David Robinson. Gary Payton. Matumbo. Carl Malone, Carl Malone, Patrick Ewing, John Stockton, Chauncey Billups, Olajuwon, another Matumbo. Here is a Baron Davis. I thought this card was pretty cool. Here's a Dirk Nowitzki sticker. A one of 15,000 Troy Aikman. Here is a Super Bowl MVP Emmett Smith. Alex Rodriguez rookie. There's another Alex Rodriguez rookie. Here's a Whitey Ford. Very cool. Nice vintage. Here is a 1960 Home Run Leaders with... Hank Aaron right there. Here is a 1966 home run leaders with Frank Robinson, Harmon Killebrew, Boog Powell. Here is a Bob Gibson. I have this card. Here's a 1951 Topps Preacher Row. Look at this. Look at that card. Now that is old school. Here is a 1965 Yogi Berra when he was the 
catcher for the Mets. Here's another Lou Brock. And any of this dirt that you see, that's that's on the uh, on the top loader. Top loaders are not in good shape, but uh, the cards on the inside seem to be pretty okay. Here's another Lou Brock. Here is a Steve Francis, sorry, Steve Nash, Rookie Rage. Very nice, do not have that one. A Chris Webber Sports Edition, very cool. I have a lot of Chris Webber rookies, but not this one. Very cool. Here is a LeBron James that, he, some, that I guess he picked up for a dollar. This is a uh, 2005 Upper Deck, LeBron James. Here is another LeBron James. This is a Bazooka LeBron. 2005 Bazooka. And last but not least, a Kobe Bryant Superman. Very nice to finish off with Kobe. So yeah, so far... This has been a really fun collection to go through. It's not as big as the other collections that I've bought in the past, but uh, but it's definitely been a lot of fun. A lot of LeBrons, Kobe's, tons of Jordans, tons of Shaqs, uh, some older cards. You know, like like you saw the Lou Brock, um, the Hank Aaron, some 1950s cards. So so far, pretty good. I'm gonna keep digging through it. Uh, if you see if you see anything that's notable that I did not mention. Please let me know in the comments. Um, if you see anything that you would like to have me list on the store, um, you know, that I'm not going to personally collect, uh, like those big baseball cards, I'll probably be listing. So if you're, if anybody's interested in those, please let me know so I can throw them up because I have a ton of them now. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button. It helps others see the videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.